Now, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe with Friendly Fox. And this episode is titled Motomania. And so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be changing over this train line to a road vehicle uh, based uh, transport network here. Which is something which I haven't uh, shown before. But basically we need to prepare for the next episode where we'll be changing around this here junction. So I am putting in the road as I can. I think I'm actually going to put that here just so it's properly out of the way. I'm going to put in the depot there. And in preparation for this, I'm going to send this train to the depot upon its next delivery. Our company's uh, starting to get a little bit more established now. And this is the 1960s, so there are plenty of vehicles available for transporting, uh, for transporting materials. Of course, we want to transport as much as we can, so we're going to go with one of the newer vehicles here, the Access Regal. We'll go with two to start with. And now we're going to start removing this station and put the lorry station in its place. But we actually want to put that one there because the access regal cannot fit into the uh, terminus loop like that. So we need to put that and that. So what this does, it allows your vehicles to be able to turn around. Removing the tracks. Well, not all of them actually, because I want to be able to send that train to do a new job. Because it's so new, I don't want to sell it yet. So we put a new road in here. And we are ready to roll. At least I think we are. I'm just going to make sure. Let's see. It's yes, good. Right. I didn't put the v I didn't put the orders in. <laughs> I've got to do that first. So we put the orders in for there and to there. As you can see, there's plenty of time, there's plenty of grain waiting for these trucks once they arrive. So I'm going to build two more. That should do nicely. We'll remove the grain and brake van. And what I'm going to do is put in a temporary link with our existing track here. I'm going to want to use this track bed later for uh, for my other company. And there is an opportunity awaiting on this track with the oil wells, which are over here somewhere, I saw them. I guess not. I guess they're gone. There was some oil wells there which would produce... Oh, here they are. I think I found them. 63,000. So, we found the oil wells over by Winningville here. We're going to put in a new station for the oil wells. Uh, 
station oil refinery one here it is platform length of four and then we link this up with our existing track here seems you need to build the station right next to the oil refinery in order to get it to accept the oil. So that's what we're going to have to do. We'll put it there and raise the land a little bit more and have a nice smooth entrance into this station. Oil. Transporting oil, we can use the newer TTA tankers, which are a little on the expensive side. I think that'll do for now. So we're going to change the orders. So the train goes to the oil wells here and down to the oil refinery. So technically we can actually fit three trains onto this track. Once this coal train enters the uh, passing loop there this train has a clear entry to this signal so here comes the train now and as it comes along we can remove the track because we no longer need it Another thing which I'm going to do is introduce a new bus line between Rintfield and Wadham. So now we want passenger buses and we'll go with the AEC Regal bus once the coal train has made another delivery. I'm just going to turn that around that way this oil train can go to the oil wells and retrieve the oil. So passenger transport doesn't make as much money as um, as uh, transporting goods does, but it's still a good way to make money once you've got your company once you've got your company established. Now we're going to go with the double decker bus for this route because <coughs> cities are a little bit on the large side. And the more passengers you transport, the more money you'll make.
Here comes another delivery and another bus. I'm just going to send this back to Rindfield because there will be passengers waiting for it now. And we managed to do all this without taking out another loan. So we now have a bus line which is transporting passengers between Wadham and Rindfield. And we'll start making money. Heading back over to our new grain uh, transporting, uh, tra transporting uh, network here. These are making a steady profit each. And there's one more set of road vehicles I'm going to build, which are for livestock. Here we go with this vehicle, I think, which is fairly new, and we can afford it. And we'll transport livestock between the farm and factory. one more. There we are. So we still have four trains running, which will be making money, and we also have ten road vehicles which will now be making money. I'm just going to do one more thing, which is in preparation for the upgrade to our other company. I'm going to remove the gradient here by raising the land. Oops. <laughs> I wanted to raise the land, not lower it. So now we've got to wait for little bit, there we are. Right, and quickly put in the mineral unloader again. In fact, we've got to raise the land a little bit more. Hmm. I think I may have to take out a loan for this one, just to finish off the building. Now the reason I wanted to do that is because there will be a track running along here for this coal train, so it is diverted off of the main line once we quadruple the track through Broodingville to Elbilborough. Paying back that 10,000 loan that we took out temporarily. And we have successfully completed this episode. So thank you very much for watching, and keep an eye out for the next episode, which will be called Junction Function. <laughs>